How do you assign value to your life? How do you quantify your impact on the world and those around you? What is the value of a child? A sibling. A parent. Or a friend. The Australian government is reviewing how it assesses new medicines, including for people with cancer. This assessment affects whether every Australian diagnosed with cancer has timely and affordable access to the medicines they need. Right now, the decision to invest in a cancer treatment is based on an arbitrary estimate of what a year of a person's life is worth. But the value of a person's life is more than just one simple equation. There are physical, psychological, social and economic benefits to improving and prolonging a person's quality of life, as well as their impacts on those they touch. Partners and children, friends and family, neighbours and employers. Our inaction on investing in life-saving treatments is making many treatment options unaffordable or unavailable for too many Australians. So, do the financial costs outweigh the value of successful cancer treatment in a human life? Rare Cancers Australia and Canteen have explored the impact of cancer on the lives of parents with dependent children and their families, and the economic and societal benefits achieved by investing in cancer treatments. We considered both immediate financial impacts as well as the opportunities that flow onto families, friends, communities and governments. Like the ability for parents to care for their children, to provide stable relationships and to alleviate mental health impacts for young people. Through this process of understanding, measuring and reporting, we found that every $1 invested in cancer treatments returns more than $3 in social and economic value, creating a win-win situation that benefits not only individuals and families, but communities and economies. It's clear, we have to change how we assess the value of medicines. If we shift our collective thinking from the financial costs to their value and impact on real people and real families, we can design a system that better values Australian lives. We can't afford to wait.